Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Greendale was having a hard winter, and there'd been another snowfall in the night. It was icy as well. Postman Pat was out on his rounds as usual, but he had to go very carefully. Sam Waldron was out too, with his mobile shop. Hello, Pat. Rough weather. Hello, Sam. How's it going? Well, I don't think I'll be able to get this van up to Granny Dryden's with the groceries. I'll take them with the letters, said Pat. Righto. Here they are. That'll keep her going for a while. Thanks, Pat. Mind how you go. Cheerio. And Pat was on his way. He skidded and slithered along the steep road to Granny Dryden's house. She was glad to see him, especially when she saw he had a groceries as well as a letter. Good morning! Oh, thank you, Pat. That's lovely. And that letter will be from that lass of mine down in London. I can't find me reading glasses anywhere. Would you tell me what she says, Pat? Certainly. Now, let's see. She says, Dear Mum, just a line to let you know... Speak up, please, Pat. I can't hear you. We'll all be able to come up to Greendale to see you for your birthday. Jim started school this week, and Dad's bought a new car. All well, and hoping you are too. All our love, Sally and family. Eee, that's good news. Thanks, Pat. Have a cup of tea. Thank you, Mrs Dryden. Oh. Ah. Just the thing, this cold weather. I'll be on my way before it starts snowing again. Goodbye. Bye, Pat. Next stop 
was at Ted Glenn's workshop. Morning, Ted. Hello, Pat. Why, brr, it's cold outside. That's a grand stove you've got there. I could do with that in my van. Ooh, it's lovely. Here's somebody writing from a warm place. Australia. Yeah, it'll be Albert. It's ages since he's written. That reminds me. I found Bert's old skates this morning. I reckon they'll be just about your size, Pat. Do you fancy trying them out? They say the tarn's frozen hard. Well, I don't know. I'd love to have a go. Is the ice safe? Has anyone checked it? <laughs> yes, Miss Hubbard. Take them anyway. You never know when they might come in handy. And I've got some of my own. Thanks, Ted. Cheerio. blowing the snow into deeper and deeper drifts. Soon, Pat had to stop. The road was blocked. He thought he would never get through with his letters now. Then he looked across to the tarn and saw someone skating on the ice. It's worth trying, Jess. I can take a short cut across the ice. Come on, Pat, it's lovely! You stay here, Jess, and mind the van. I'll just put these skates on. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hello, Pat. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Special ice delivery today. Thank you. Good skating. George Lancaster was still on the ice. He did get a surprise when Pat whizzed by with a letter. Mrs. Thompson was out for a spin too. Ouch! Hello, Pat. What are you doing down there? Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Look at Jess. Whoa. Come on, Jess. That's enough skating for today. We'll get back on wheels.
There were no children at the school. They were all snowed up at home. But the snowman was there. Pat had an envelope in his pocket, so he addressed it to the snowman. Mr. Snowman, the Drift, Greendale School, and tucked it under his arm. Hello, who's that? It was Miss Hubbard and Ted. Hello, Pat. Have you seen my bicycle? The snow must have buried it. We'll have to find it. You dig there, Ted. And you try here, Pat. Can it be? Who left this gate open? On with the search. Tut, tut, tut. Found something? Hmm, just an old kettle. I think it's here. Just in time for choir practice. I'll be off now. I'll open the gate for you, Miss Hubbard. Thank you, Pat. Goodbye. Bye, Miss Hubbard. Nothing stops her, does it? See you in church on Sunday. I'm coming, Jess. Time to go home. Cheer up, Jess. This snow can't last forever. Those men, those men.